Hey y'all, it's the Black Natural Plant-Based Mama. Happy 2018. Are you ready to be plant-based for life? Well, Aldi is here to the rescue with their new earth-grown vegan line of products. Uh, it says vegan and vegetarian, but everything I've seen so far has been amazingly vegan. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video are the things that I bought yesterday while at Aldi. There are uh, chicken patties and tenders and black bean chipotle burgers, meatballs, and wait for it, they have even come up with mozzarella cheese shreds. So I'm super excited about that one. And I'll even do a little bit of a taste test. Nothing is over $4. It's super affordable. Let's get into it. Stay tuned. And don't forget, if you have not already, there is a red subscribe button down here somewhere. Go ahead and click that so we can be friends in 2018 and beyond. Okay, so giving you the information for the meat-free chickenless tenders. Love that vegan. It tells you right there. Nine grams of protein per serving. One And the one serving is three tenders. We've got 160 calories, one gram of saturated fat, 320 milligrams of sodium, and zero sugars. And of course, the higher sodium content is always going to be expected when you're eating packaged processed foods. Cholesterol free. And even though you see vegan here and you see vegan here, you always, always, always want to read the ingredients for yourself. Um, a good cheat is to first off start off in the bold letters and see what it contains because that's usually going to be allergen warnings. Our promise. All earth-grown products are free from animal products, including meat, poultry, and seafood, and our vegan items are also free from substances produced by animals, such as eggs, dairy, honey, gelatin, and lanolin. I couldn't even read that word, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, serving size three tenders, so it is about 12 in each pack meat-free chickenless patties. These have 10 grams of protein, also cholesterol-free per patty, 150 calories, 0.5 grams of saturated fat, 300 milligrams of sodium, two sugars. Back to the same thing again, contains soy and wheat, but there's all of the ingredients. Now, these, I think they've really just kind of rebranded them, but I've had their black bean chipotle burgers before, which are really, really good. And they have the, the that chipotle is for real. They do have a little bit of a kick to them, but it's a good kick. So anyway, I like that they rebranded this and put it under Beer Earth Grown as well. So we've got vegetable protein, There's all of our stuff down there. 130 calories, 0.5 grams of saturated fat. Try and get a burger with that little fat and see what happens. 280 milligrams of sodium and two grams of total sugar. Um, the usual suspects contain soy and wheat. Look at those ingredients. The first ingredients are what's in there most. Always keep that in mind when you're looking at ingredients. So like if the second ingredient is something in sugar, then you know that that product, whatever it is, has a very high sugar content. I, these also, I know that I've had before, the Asian veggie burger, as well as the Thai veggie burger. And this one, vegan patty made with brown rice, water, chestnuts, carrots, peas, red peppers, broccoli, and soy sauce. And there's the info on that one, 130 calories per burger, less than half a gram of saturated fat, 300 mils of sodium, and two grams of sugar. 
The Thai veggie burger is vegan patty made with six vegetables and brown rice, seasoned with Thai basil, lemongrass, and lime. This one has 130 calories also, 0.5 grams of fat, 230 milligrams of sodium, and three grams of sugars. So six grams of protein per serving for the Asian, seven grams of protein per serving for the Thai, I don't think I went over this, but I'll go back. The chickenless patties have 10 grams of protein. Um, I noticed on the front of the black bean chipotle burgers, it does not say, but looking there, it is seven grams of protein. The classic meatless meatballs, vegan. And these are um, nine grams of total fat per serving, vegan meatballs with soy protein, garlic, and parsley, 160 calories per six meatball serving, half gram of saturated fat, these are definitely higher, 510 milligrams of sodium, and one gram of sugar. Now, I make pretty good meatballs, so... I figured I would give these just kind of for a quick thing, but for me, I would actually rather just make my own. The price point was not bad. So there's about 30 meatballs in here. Probably the thing I like the least about these is that the first ingredient is water. They can be heated up, put in some tomato sauce, and served on hot dog buns or hoagies if you want to be fancy and um, the kids can just have meatball subs. They also, they have the classic, and I didn't get them, but they also have Italian meatless meatballs as well. This one was another one I totally forgot because everything else was in the freezer that I got that I'm like so excited about. Yes, you are reading correctly. Aldi now has vegan mozzarella style shreds. So I am super excited about this one. 90 calories per half quarter cup serving, no saturated fat, 210 milligrams of sodium, zero grams of sugar. There's that magic term there, dairy-free and vegan. Okay, so I've got a meh, good little handful of this one. So let's see what we think. It's kind of dry. Well, that's probably not the word you would expect when you're talking about cheese, but while this mozzarella does have kind of a dryness to it, um, the flavor's not bad. So the next test will be to see if it melts, like if I can put it on something, um, put it in a pizza oven, and then see kind of how it melts. So stay tuned for that as well. I will be doing some taste tests of some of these products. But I just wanted to get on here because I was super excited going into Aldi, um, knowing that all of those products were there. And yeah, she loaded up. <laughs> she loaded up. Um, nothing was over $3.69. I think the meatballs were the most expensive thing at like $3.69. So try to go to any other grocery store, if some, unless something's on a monster sale, try to go to any other grocery store and get your vegan meatless products for those type of prices. Good luck with that. But even my regular stores don't have those products at a reasonable price point. I mean, usually we're talking like $4.99 and, um, you know, stuff like that. And... When you're trying to feed a family of five or six if my son's home from college, that's just not financially feasible. So I'm really, really, really excited and appreciative that Aldi, that Aldi has created this line and put these products out there because I do a lot of my shopping at Aldi, a lot of my vegan shopping at Aldi. Um, 
point to that being, and I will link the video that I did before of one of my major grocery hauls, because a lot of the stuff came from Aldi, and just to show that being vegan is not hard, it's not super expensive. When you're purchasing products from the grocery store, you just have to know what to buy. So thanks so much for watching. Happy 2018. Let us all get to bigger, better things. Be plant-based for life. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. I almost forgot to tell you all that they have kombucha now. I'm so excited with prebiotics. It's from Oregon Roots. This one, as you can see, is so empty. It was the Asian pear and ginger, and gosh, I could really taste that Asian pear, which was amazing. And check out the ingredient list. Filtered water, organic brew tea, organic kombucha, organic cane sugar, fructan, a prebiotic fiber, natural pear flavor with other natural flavors, and organic ginger extract. So that was really good. It was at the pretty much usual kombucha price. I believe these were $2.99 or $1.99. And this one I have not gotten to yet, but this one is cherry and black currant. So for whatever I'll be having for lunch today, this will most likely go with it. And I am super excited. So could not forget about this. They do have original flavor as well. But a lot of times I'm not really a huge fan of original flavor. So I decided to go for something uh, with some flavor and I was not disappointed by these two. Sorry about the noise in the background, but that is the cat playing with something random that she found on the, on the ground.